Apple's very own instant messaging platform known as iMessage allows you to send and receive messages containing videos and audio files to and from other Apple devices. In order to use a message on your iOS device, a stable internet connection is required. You can use iMessage over Wi-Fi or cellular data, but it seems like some iPhone 11 owners have encountered issues with it. So in this video, I will be showing you what to do if iMessage stopped working on your iPhone 11. First solution, disable iMessage and force restart your iPhone. Like many other built-in iOS features, the iMessage can also give it to random errors and so it would stop working at some point. To eliminate minor triggers, restarting iMessage and rebooting the phone can help. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find Messages and then tap on it. Touch the iMessage switch to disable it. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up button and then do the same for the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows. Now wait for your iPhone to finish restarting. Once the reboot is finished, try to see if iMessage is now working properly. Second solution, reset all network settings. Network-related errors that might have inflicted troubles to internet services, like iMessage are the next factors you should eliminate. These errors not only affect iMessage, but also other internet-based applications on your device. To clear these errors out, you can use the Reset Network Settings command to erase all current network settings. From the home screen, tap Settings. Tap Generals. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Touch Reset Network Settings. If prompted, enter your security locks. Tap Reset Network Settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Fourth solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix issues with core services, including this problem, but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap Generals. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security locks. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.